Hello friends, this is Sandra from woollyfire.com and whimsydreamsclipart.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a beautiful, whimsical and vintage vibe uh, business card that you can print on, say, Vistaprint or something like that. Or at home, of course, if you are a do-it-yourself kind of person. Well. To start off, we are going to use Canva and you find Canva, a link to Canva if you don't have it uh, in the description below. And I am an affiliate, just so you know. And the graphics that we are going to use in this tutorial is from the Whimsy Dreams clip art shop and it's the floral mandalas. Uh, so you find all uh, the links below in the description to everything that we are going to need for this project. So. If you like this tutorial or and you find this channel helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. But now let's get started. You go to Canva and uh, choose a create a design. Click here and search for business card. and choose business card. We are going to have a front and back uh, of this design. So we start out by adding a new page. This will be the back of the card and this will be the front of the card. And we start out by going to elements, grids and color it with an off-white uh, color. I will drop the link to this color in the description like this and we do the same on the back of the card. Elements, grids, color and this off-white color. You find the hex codes here if you go to new color and uh, click this one you just enter the hex code here. So no worries there. We're going to apply the floral mandala to the top of this card. And floral mandalas are perfect for creating, you know, everything, you know, they are so versatile. So let's click here on grids again. And we're going to make it. Ah, we start out by this. It's not important at first to get it, this exactly. We go to uploads. I already uploaded this mandala and I chose the mustard and yellow mandala for this design. And I click on it and I drag it here. Now it looks strange. You double click here to access the whole, you see the whole design here. And then you just pull it up like this and done. And you center it and you resize this to fit your style. Now we're going to add some text here, of course. We want our name and our occupation. So we go to text. We choose a simple text here. Just add a heading like this and we can make it a little bit smaller and center it. I might have a different uh, font here because I have the pro version of Canva as I use it in my business. So if this looks, uh, not like yours, it's uh, no, no worries there. For this design, I'm going with a font that is called I am Fell English. This one. Uh, to give it a vintage look. So, write your name here and it's a little bit too large. So let's make it a little bit smaller like this. And I want my text to be brown and you find this hex code in the description below as well. Like this. Now we go back to text and we add a subheading here. This is, will be our occupation. We change it to Baskerville this time. Libre Baskerville like this. And this is way too large. 
So let's go down here to 10 maybe, like this. Uh, keep in mind that uh, business cards are quite small in size, so you have to have larger fonts than you might think when you first design it. This looks like very large. When printed on a business card, you have to make sure it's readable. Change it to brown again, like this, like this. Now we go to the back of the card. Make sure it's centered, of course, like this centered in the design. Now we go to the back of the card and we will add elements, grids, and just make it smaller this time. Like say a shape like this. You can press alt and drag to get a duplicate of the same element or you can use the duplicate button here. Go back to upload, find your, uh, your mandala here and drag it into the design like this. Double click and adjust it like this. Double click and adjust it. Here we are going to add our contacts so people know where to reach us and we go to text elements and you write business card here and we choose this visit us at and just import it like this and make it smaller center it center it and center it and we change the visit us to the Baskerville and our address to Libra Baskerville and the same goes to our phone number and our uh, web address so of course, you can choose whichever information you want to share here. So you can just uh, adjust it to fit your needs, of course. So let's see here. Ferry Street 5. And we change your telephone number here to fit something like your telephone number, of course, and your telephone number here, and my perfect site. When you're ready, you go to download PDF print, as this is a print project, and this ensures crisp and clear uh, prints. So make sure you have chosen PDF prints. And crop marks and bleed are very good to add as well. And this is how the final uh, file looks like. Make sure though, before you send your um, business card to the printers, that all the file requirements are met. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and that you create some beautiful uh, business card for your business or your services. And please let me know if you have any questions, drop them below in the comments and I get back to you and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you find this tutorial helpful. Make sure you join us in our Facebook group as well. Uh, in our Facebook group, we share tips and tricks how to use Canva both for design and for crafts. And if you want to learn how to create printable uh, quote art that you can sell in, say, your Etsy shop, be sure to check out my uh, class. Uh, the enrollment is open. So. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.